Hi and welcome to the next chapter of this Think Diffusion guide. Today we'll be looking at in painting and in painting is the power of taking any image and changing all the details or any of the details that you want. It will give you the ability to change parts of the image but you can also give more details on the objects or persons that are already there. Let me show you how you do that. So I have prepared this image here. So we have an image of a castle here in the background. We have some mountains and some beautiful hills here and a fantasy wizard. So we're going to be changing some details and I'm going to show you how to do that. And if you can see now, if we zoom in here, you can see it's not a lot of detail in this. Uh, it's uh, You can see also in the castle here, it doesn't look fantastic. I mean, if you look at from a distance, it looks kind of okay, but if we zoom in, can see it's uh, well, it's kind of messy so we're gonna take a look at that and also see if we can add something maybe maybe we can add something on top of this mountain here you might want to use an in painting model you don't have to do that but it will make the experience slightly easier uh, I have selected one called epic realism that I have downloaded you can just start by typing in paint here and you can select any of these available like deliberate for example dream shaper realistic vision then we're gonna go into the image to image tab here now first off we're gonna use the in paint here and this is the, the basic one the most used tab and you drag your image into the box here and then you get a little brush that you can paint with and if you just press the left mouse button you can see here we're painting a mask you can delete with the button here or you can undo with the button here you can also change the size and use a smaller or a larger brush if you press s you're going to be zoomed in and this will help you a lot so let's start here first by just drawing around the castle here it doesn't have to be perfect get a rough approximation of the castle. I'm going to make the brush a little smaller just to get the tower here and this tower here. Now if you use control and mouse wheel scroll you can also reduce or increase the size of the brush. Just remember that you need to de-click this here before you can press S and go back again. Now we have selected the castle here so we could say fantasy castle for example and then we're going to scroll down and look at our settings. We have mask mode here in paint masked. We have painted the mask. If you did it in reverse, you can select in paint not masked. That will mean that everything except the castle will be selected. Masked content, we're gonna choose original. Then it's gonna read the mask content as it is. So it's gonna look at the castle and the colors here and try to reuse most of that. If we select latent noise here, you will get a completely new result. It can change the colors, it can change anything, but we want to keep the colors, so we're gonna use original here. For the inpaint area, this is how you're gonna decide the resolution of your inpaint. So if you select whole picture here now, this whole image is gonna be inpainted. So this part is gonna get the same detail as the rest of the image and this is not really what we want in this case because we want to add detail so we're going to select only masked here that will give us an area around here that it renders so it's going to give us a higher resolution and then it's going to be copy pasted into this image and you will see this when we generate i'm actually going to increase the sampling steps just to show you this is not necessary for the render this is mainly to give you an approximation of what is going on so let's say that we would press render here now or generate you will see that around the mask we will be zoomed in to this castle here you can see we only have the part of the castle we don't see the rest of the image so it generates this part into the image however this is not the final result that we're looking for as you can see i mean it's a castle but uh, we're still gonna be changing the settings a little bit so first off we're going to change the resolution we're going to do 768 by 768 if you are using an sd excel model i would recommend that you use 1024 by 1024 instead and now this part the denoising strength here this is what you need to learn the most so if you have a denoising strength of zero and you render this let's go back to about 25 steps now you will get no change of the image whatsoever so denoising strength of zero means that you will retain everything 
or rather it will change 0% of this image. So you can think of it as, as a percentage. And if you put this to one, you will change as much as possible. So you will not retain much of the original castle at all. So we will have a completely new castle. So it might or might not resemble what you had. You might be asking, what should we do then Seb? Well, I would recommend, since we want to change this a little bit, I would recommend that we, we're playing with a denoising strength of between maybe 0 0.5, 0 0.8 now. We're going to start with 0.6. So that will change our image a little bit, but not a lot. So let's generate one here first and see what happens. And if we look at the image here now, we can see that we are a little bit closer to our original castle. And if we pull that up and if you compare, you can see that yes, we have the two towers from before, then the castle is changing. So the lights here, they're gone and the rest of, of the castle looks, uh, well, completely different. Now we can also load styles into this. So for the original image, I actually used the original photo style and the default negative down here. So let's generate this again and let's do Four images so we have something to choose from and let's generate again and see what we get here and coming in here are different new fantasy castles but we're still retaining the original shape that we had with the two towers here well actually we have a lot of towers but the two towers that that we talked about uh, but doing it this way we will actually get more detail into the castle than what we had previously i think this one looks fairly cool we have this entrance here we have an entrance or a large window on this side. So I I'm fairly happy with this. So I'm gonna press X here. And then I can drag and drop from the right to the left. Now make sure that if you wanna do something else here now, you have to clear this area. It might also be good to save this image because once you have dropped it into the left and generate, uh, you need to go into the outputs tab or to find it again. So I usually save it on my desktop if I want to go back and make any changes. Now we're going to go into in paint sketch here. So you can either go into sketch or drag or you can be in here and press this little button here in paint sketch. Now we can do here is you can select a color. So we're going to select the color here and I'm going to take as the dropper I'm going to select from the mountain here and then I'm going to paint actually on top here so we're gonna paint what uh, could be sort of a castle here it doesn't have to be perfect just have to sort of resemble a castle we're gonna get a darker color I'm gonna put some darker in on this side because it looks like the su sun is actually coming from the left here as you can see on this castle and on the wizard and on the hills here so the shadow side would be on the right side here. So we're going to do the same thing here. We still have the prompt fantasy castle. I'm going to put on mountain. Now we might need to increase the denoising strength a little bit because now it's going to read from these colors. If we don't increase the denoising strength, it's going to be a little too flat. So let's try this. Now there's no perfect value again. So you might need to fine tune the denoising strength depending on what you're trying to do. But as you can see here, we're starting to get little castle coming in here so I would say it's fairly okay and if we look at them in detail you can see while they're not perfect well they're pretty good this is to be expected but we're gonna iterate on this so we're gonna go back here and now when we have something that we like here we can go back into in paint drag and drop that there and now we can paint over this area because now we have something to work with which is much better than the crude drawing I have here. So now we have Fantasy Castle on Mountain and we're gonna use the same denoising we had before, 0.6. So now we want to retain more of what's available. We are generating here again now. So this castle should most likely look a little bit better than what we had here on our input. And this is just two iterations from our crudely drawn two color castle. And I would say that uh, we're really starting to get a pretty decent looking castle here. I'm gonna select this one here and then I'm gonna take this image and drag it into InPaint here and we are going to paint over our 
little wizard here. Then we're gonna type in fantasy wizard. Now, depending on what you want, you could say like wearing a staff, wearing a hat, uh, whatever. But I wanna keep it a little random. So I'm just putting in fantasy wizard for now. We still have denoising of 0.6 because we have most of the wizard there already. And we are generating. And again, you can see that it zooms in on this area because we have selected mask content only mask and it is now redefining our wizard quite drastically I'm, I'm thinking we could do a little better on this we're actually going to lower the denoising because i liked what we had we had a man there fantasy wizard a man blue robes and hat wearing staff we're gonna try that again yeah now, now we have our wizard coming in here live. Let's look at our results here. I think I prefer this one here where he looks in this direction. So I'll say that's that's fairly okay. So next up I have this image here and this is a man standing in this sort of a tropical paradise and I think that the sweater or the shirt here looks way too thick for this weather. It's like a thick woolen overshirt of sorts. So we're going to change this into a much cooler linen shirt and then we're going to change uh, his complete face sorry buddy but you're going to be turned into a different person so again we're just going to drop that in there i'm going to press s to zoom in draw hair around the shirt make sure to get all of that don't have to be super precise but it's good to get all of it there now inside of think diffusion you have pre-made styles you can go down here and we can actually select cloth in painting here and we can select linen. And we're gonna say shirt. So that's super simple. Then we're gonna go down, make sure that we have in paint mask, original. Now we can do a whole picture. We didn't talk about previously, so we can do a, a sixth whole picture. And then make sure that you press the little uh, ruler here to get the same size of the image. We're gonna change the denoising to about 0.6. And if we generate this now, it will generate the resolution of the full image. So we will not get any extra detail into the shirt apart from the rest of the image. As you can see, it renders the full one here. And looking at the, the image here now, we can see that he has a much cooler linen shirt and he should be well suited for this weather. Now, personally, I would tuck the arms up a little bit, but uh, he has the buttons open up here at least. So it's going to get a nice cool breeze. Now, remember to drag your new image into the left one. I'm going to remove the part where we made the change to the shirt. We're going to zoom in and we're actually going to change his face here now. And we're just going to change here now and press S again. I'm going to say man face. I'm going to move, remove the linen here now. We're going to change to only masked and we're going to set this to about 768, 768. We're going to do four images because we want uh, some faces to choose from and we're now generating and since we're selecting only masked here it will generate on only the face so we'll get more details into the face and uh, that generally works very well for generated images and as you can see from our results here now we actually have four new faces so we have this one this one this one they're all very similar so if you're looking to change the face more you can see that it changes but if you want even more changes you would have to increase the denoising strength here. So let's say that we take 0.8, for example, we generate again. We are again getting very similar faces. And if you are also getting this, don't fret. This can be very common with certain stable diffusion models. So if you were, for example, change to a different model, let's take Think Diffusion Ultra Real. So some models are biased towards a certain face or a character, uh, so they can be overtrained. So if you are also getting a similar result, you can change that. We're also going to increase the sampling steps here a little bit, and then we are generating again. And now with a di different model completely. And this one is also not an in-painting model, so it's not necessary to have an in-painting model. So in these examples, we're getting uh, four faces here. Now we talked a little bit about the in-paint, in-paint sketch. Now there is the feature called sketch here. If you drag your image into here, it will be similar to in paint sketch. You can add stuff here. So let's say, for example, that we're going to add a flamingo. We can then paint the flamingo here. However, it will not give us a mask similar to 
the one in InPaint Sketch. So what you need to do now is if you want to use Sketch, you're going to need to go into InPaint and then draw your own mask over this. So now we have to actually draw the mask on top of it. Now I prefer to use InPaint Sketch, then you get the color and the mask in one. But you can do this if you prefer it. Lamengo standing in water. I'm going to add the styles to this original photo styles and the default negative because this, this is the 1.5 model and we have a fairly high denoising here so we're changing a lot from the pink that is already there so let's see what we get very quickly see that these flamingos just from the preview the low res preview here they look actually very good but uh, let's check here once it's finished and if we select all four here i would say that most of them look pretty good. Some of them have this one's face doesn't look, or the beak doesn't look fantastic. Assuming that some of the other ones look pretty good. Now we have looked at uh, how to add details to an image, how to change details to an image, how to change, for example, the shirt here. So I hope you learned how to use in painting today. And uh, feel free to try it out more on Think Diffusion and change your image to, well, whatever you please. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next chapter.